subcommittee's efforts to oversee the Coast Guard's acquisition programs, and in particular the Deepwater Program. In the time that has passed since the subcommittee's last hearing on this topic in June of 07, the Coast Guard has made substantial changes to its acquisition program. These changes are designed to enhance the service's capabilities to manage multi-billion dollar programs, including the responsibility of assuming lead system integration duties for all current and future acquisitions. The Coast Guard is operating the third oldest fleet in the world. That's right, the third oldest fleet in the world. Everyone agrees that we must replace and modernize the service's aging vessels, aircraft, and communication systems. Right now, the men and women of the Coast Guard are conducting oper operations at higher tempos than ever before aboard vessels that are incapable of supporting their critical missions. This is not sustainable, nor is it acceptable. I look forward to hearing from our witnesses about what more is needed to help the Coast Guard bring new and enhanced assets on board. The subcommittee has the responsibility to oversee the service's efforts to acquire the most appropriate assets in a timely manner and at the best value to the American taxpayer. Toward that end, Chairman Cummings introduced legislation today which follows on numerous discussions between the majority, the minority, and the service. And Mr. Chairman, I especially want to thank you and your staff for your tremendous level of cooperation and reaching out to us on so many important issues involved with this legislation. I believe this bill will provide the authorities and the guidance necessary to support acquisition of these badly needed assets. And again, I welcome Admiral Ballor for what might be his last hearing as Assistant Commandant of Acquisition. Admiral, you have done a great job to steady the acquisition wheel over the past few years, and we wish you the best in your new position as District 13 commander in Seattle. I also look forward to hearing from the GAO and their ongoing efforts to oversee the Coast Guard acquisitions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.